everybody welcome here from language academy guys welcome back to another video in this video we are going to look at the listening module this video is going to be a complete package about the listening module what are the things you need to take care of what is the marking criteria what are the different question types which contribute towards the listening module and all the tricks and strategies which you need to follow in order to get full points in listening and the related modules as well but we'll get going what i'll be starting with i'll be starting with the marks distribution and the task which contribute towards the listening module now remember listening is the last module of your test and one of the most important modules if you mess up this one things are going to be very difficult because listening will not only give you points in listening but along with that it is going to give you a lot of points in your writing module and your reading module as well so it is very important we understand what needs to be done in listening to maximize the output now listening as i have told you is the last module of your test there are eight different question types if you are taking the pt academy test in listening there are eight question types in the listening module which contribute toward your listening module along with these eight question types there are three questions from speaking which will give you points in listening namely repeat sentences retail lecture and answer short questions so all together there are 11 different question types which contribute towards the listening module out of the 11 question types six are extremely important five are not important at all the tasks which are not important you don't really have to worry about those you have to only work on the six tasks or the question types which i have told you are important and definitely you will get your scores now starting with speaking repeat sentences are very important retail lecture important answer short questions not important you don't have to worry at all listening summarize spoken text is the first task very important listening mcq multiple not important listening fill in the blanks very important listening mcq single highlight correct summary and select missing word not important at all highlight incorrect words and write from dictation very important so you have to ensure you work properly and work hard on the important question types now out of the 90 points 45 points in listening are from the listening module and almost 45 points are from speaking so you have to make sure you work hard on the speaking part as well first task which will contribute towards the listening module is repeat sentence extremely important this is going to give you around 30 points in listening and this is going to be a game changer if you want to get your desired scores in repeat sentence you hear an audio and then your recording starts and you have to repeat the same audio back i want you to maximize your content over here in repeat sentence don't worry about repeating 100% but at least 80% of the content from the sentence should be there in your answer that is how you will be getting your scores repeat sentence understand the audio as much as you remember repeat it clearly and confidently do not stop if you don't remember don't just keep quiet just make a sentence by yourself but try to maximize the content you're going to get around 12 repeat sentences out of 12 8 to 9 will be easy the easy ones i want you to have at least 80 to 90% content the difficult ones even if you have around 50 60% content is fine repeat sentences in order to get maximum points in listening you have to maximize the content for that try to understand the meaning of the sentence and repeat as much as possible focus on content and clarity and you will be 100% fine every day you have to make sure you practice 25 to 30 repeat sentences next question type from the speaking module which will contribute towards the listening module is the retail lecture retail lecture is moderately important you will get one or two retail lectures in your test very rare you will get three normally one or two to get full points in the listening module from the speaking module especially the retail lecture part you have to ensure that your answer or your response includes around 10 keywords from the audio or from the lecture in your response if you speak around 10 to 12 keywords from the lecture in your answer and speak that clearly and confidently 100% you are going to get your desired scores in the listening module and make sure you speak those words clearly retail lecture i want you to practice two to three every day and you have to follow the template whichever template i provided the link to the retail lecture video is in the description box as well you can watch that video get the template you have to speak around 25 to 30 seconds but make sure you have got around 10 12 keywords in cases where the lecture is very short you don't have enough keywords try to repeat around 6 to 8 keywords at least and you can repeat them twice but try to go around 25 to 30 seconds and you'll be fine then answer short questions not important i don't really want you to worry about these even if you mess these up you'll get the scores only thing i want you to do is do not keep quiet or do not say i do not know as much as you can speak if you know the answer repeat the answer 
If you don't know the answer, just repeat the keywords from the question. If there are options in the question, repeat all the options if you are unsure about the answer. This is what I want you to do. Repeat sentence around 25 to 30 every day. Read a lecture of 2 to 3. Don't worry about answer short questions. Now we'll come to the listening module. Now there are two very important things in the listening module that you manage your time properly and you take care of your spellings. The very first question type of the listening module is summarize spoken text. Extremely important for your listening and writing module. Now, summarized spoken text contributes heavily towards the listening and writing module. You need to ensure that you use complete 10 minutes in summarized spoken text. In summarized spoken text, there's no rollover time. That means you'll be allotted 10 minutes for one summarized spoken text, right? If you finish one summary in eight minutes and move to the next question, you will not get additional two minutes. You need to make sure you spend complete 10 minutes, maximize and utilize the time you have so that there are no mistakes in the response or whatever you have written. Now in summarized spoken text, you have to take care of two to three things. First of all, ensure you write around 60, 65, 70 words. You're supposed to write between 50 to 75 words, but I highly recommend you write around 65 words, okay? Second, try to include around eight to 10 keywords from the lecture in your answer. Next, make sure there are no grammar and spelling mistakes. I do not want you to make even a single spelling mistake. Spelling mistakes are heavily penalized in the listening module and will impact your writing module significantly. So be very careful when it comes to spelling mistakes in the listening module, especially summarized spoken text. If there's any word or any important keyword as well, you are unsure about, you do not write it. Let's say you've got 12 keywords. You only know the spellings for eight keywords. You repeat the same keywords you're sure about, but do not write any word you have 1% doubt about. Only write words you are 100% sure. Remember this thing, right? Follow the template. The link to the template is in the description box. You can follow that as well or you can find the template on the website languageacademy.com.au under the template tab. You can follow that template as well, but make sure around 60, 65 words, no spelling mistakes, no grammar mistakes, 10 to 12 keywords and follow the template. If you have less keywords, repeat the same keywords, but do not write any word you're not sure and you'll be fine. 10 minutes you have to use completely. Once you're done with your summarized spoken text, your part two will start. In part two, what happens? Part one, you have summarized spoken text where 10 minutes each. Part two, you will have around 14 to 17 questions and 18 to 22 minutes. And you have to manage your time yourself. It's not that you get one minute for one question or two minutes for one question. And it's very important that you manage your time properly because the most important question types are at the end. And students often waste a lot of time on questions which are not important. And then they do not have enough time for the questions at the end. And then they mess up everything. Now you're left with one question type is done, summarize spoken text. You're left with seven question types now because there are eight question types in total. Listening, MCQ multiple, MCQ single, select missing word, highlight correct summary. Four question types, I do not want you to practice at all. I don't really want you to stress about this. A day or two or three days before you test, you can practice a bit just to get some idea, give your best. But when I say you don't have to worry much about it, it means that you do not have to waste your time over here. Even if you go wrong in MCQ, single, multiple, highlight, correct summary and select missing word, but do well in the other areas, you can even get a superior score. So you have to be very careful about this. Out of seven, which question types are important? Listening fill in the blanks. Extremely important. You'll get two to three of these questions. What happens over here? You'll get a passage on your screen. Few words in the passage will be missing. Those words will be spoken in the audio. While the audio is going on, you have to take notes and then type back your answer in the box you have been given. What are the things you need to take care of in listening blanks? First of all, spellings. You have to be very careful that you write correct spellings. Second, make sure if there's any blank after full stop, question mark or exclamation, you start with the capital alphabet. If there's any proper noun, such as name of a person, place, organization, book title, religion, language, nationality, weekdays, months, means you always start with the capital alphabet. Be very careful about that. Okay. Listen, fill in the blanks. Once the audio is done, you have to take a maximum of 40 to 50 seconds to type, revise, proofread your answer, and then you have to move on. You'll get two to three and these are extremely important because these are going to contribute heavily towards the writing module as well. Then you'll have your select missing word MCQ single and your highlight correct summary. You have to listen to the audio. You have to give your best. But once the audio is done, you have to take a maximum of 10 seconds. I won't really be explaining those because those are not important. The seventh question type in the listening module is highlight incorrect words. Extremely important. You have to be very careful because this is going to give you points in listening and reading. You'll get a transcript on your screen and audio for the same transcript will be played. 
few words in the transcript will be different as compared to what they'll speak on the audio. You have to just select those words. On an average, four to five words will be different. You get one point for each correct word you highlight. Remember this negative marking over here. So any word you're not sure or doubtful about, do not select it. Now, what you have to be careful about in highlight incorrect words, as soon as the audio starts, start moving your cursor along with the lecture. As soon as you hear a word which is spoken differently and is different on the screen, highlight it. If you miss something, if you're confused about something, do not wait and think about it. Just keep on going. Because if you wait and think, the lecture will go on. You will miss the track of the lecture and everything's going to go off. You have to be very careful that you go along with the lecturer. And if there's anything you are unsure or doubtful about, do not worry about it. Just move on. We will have a look at it at the end. One point for each correct selection. If there's any word you are unsure about, do not select it. After the audio, you don't really have much to do. So once the audio is done, just move on to the next question. The last question type, which is the king of the test, very important right from dictation. You'll get three, four, very rare five, but normally three to four right from dictations. Extremely important because this is going to give you a lot of points in listening and in the writing module. What I want you to do over here, as soon as the audio starts, take the notes, take down initials, keep on repeating the sentence in your mind. And once the audio stops, type back your answer. You get one point for each correct word. There is no negative marking here. You get zero point for each incorrect word. Now, what I want you to do, please pay attention. You have to use this trick. You get one point for each correct word if the spellings are correct. If the spellings are not correct, you don't get points for that. Remember this thing. So let's say there is a sentence like, I am going to Philippines tomorrow. Now, I've written the notes, but I'm really unsure. First of all, I'll type all the words I'm sure about. I've written, I am going to Philippines tomorrow. I'm not really sure if it was going or traveling. I'll write both the words. I'm not really sure about the spellings for Philippines or I'm not really sure if it's it starts with a capital alphabet or a small alphabet. I'll write Philippines with P capital and Philippines with P small as well. Then I'm not really sure if it was I am or I are. So I'll write I am are going traveling to Philippines with P capital, Philippines with P small and full stop. Computer will give you one point for each correct word you've written. And for the extra words you have added, you'll not be negatively marked. You'll just get zero for those words. So you have to be very careful. First of all, type the words which you're sure about. And then when, you, when you're doubtful about spellings, when you're doubtful about singular plural, or when you're doubtful about capitalization of words, add extra words for all the options or all the alternatives you can think of. Computer will give you one point for each correct word and zero for incorrect word. Remember this thing, all right? Now, one thing I want you to be careful about, don't just keep on playing with the words. Only add extra words where you're doubtful about, not because you're negatively marked, but because you'll be wasting a lot of time. Students waste a lot of time on first dictation, and then they rarely have any time left for the remaining ones. Give your best, do add extra words wherever you're doubtful about, but keep going on. That is something I want you to be very careful about, okay? You'll get three to four dictations, Give your best after the audio around 40, 50 seconds, proof to your answer and move on. Make sure you start with the capital alphabet and at the end there's a full stop. That is all you have to do and you'll be fine. Now I'll try to summarize this video. Listening, you get 45 points from listening and almost 45 from speaking. Repeat sentence, maximize your content. Read a lecture, try to have around 8 to 10 keywords at least. Answer short questions, don't worry. Listening, summarize spoken text, first task, very important, write around 60, 65 words. Focus on the spellings and make sure you have around 8 to 10 keywords again, but do not write any word you are unsure about. Then MCQ multiple, not important. Listen to the audio. While the audio is going on, try to select the right answer. If not, select C. Try to only select one option because there's negative marking over here. But as soon as the audio finishes, do not take more than 5 to 10 seconds to move on. Then listening, fill in the blanks. Extremely important. You have to make sure you take down notes, type back your answer properly. Be very careful with your spellings. At the end of the word, if there's S, make sure you add S. If there's ED, make sure you add ED. But be very careful, vigilant about spellings. Um, if there's any full stop or any blank after full stop or a proper noun, start with the capital alphabet. And after the audio, spend around 40, 50 seconds and move on. Then you'll have listening MCQ single answers. Highlight correct summary and select missing words. These three are not important, but I still want you to give your best because you cannot skip or move on to the next question until and unless the audio finishes. 
So what I want you to be careful about, listen to the audio properly, give your best, but do not spend more than five to 10 seconds. In highlight card summary, you can take around 20 to 25 seconds after the audio. Then seventh question type is highlight incorrect words. Go along with the speaker. If you miss anything, move on. There's negative marking over here. If there's any word you are unsure, do not select it. This is extremely important because this is going to give you punch in listening and reading. Also be very careful with time management. You don't really have much to do after the audio finishes over here. So make sure you do not spend a lot of time after the audio. The last question, right from dictation, the king, extremely important question. Make sure you at least have 50 seconds to one minute for each dictation. You'll have three to four dictations. Listen to the audio, take down initials, type back the answer wherever you're doubtful about the spellings, add extra words, but don't just keep on extra words for the sake of adding them and don't waste your time. Once you're done, proofread your answer, start with the capital alphabet and then full stop and move on to the next one. And do not waste your time until and unless you have finished your test. A lot of times students assume that they have only got three right from dictations where they actually get four. So until and unless you do not end your exam and submit your test, you do not have to sit down and relax. You have to give your best 120%, doesn't matter what happens. Once you're done with your iPhone dictation, your test will finish in a couple of hours or a couple of days, you'll get your results. And if you follow whatever I've told you, 100% you are going to get your desired scores. That's it from this video. I'll give you a practice flag for listening. 25 to 30 repeat sentences, two to three retail lectures, two summarized spoken text, 10 listening blanks, five highlight incorrect words and 30 right from dictations. In summarized spoken text, in listening blanks and right from dictation, Please do not make spelling mistakes. Spelling mistakes will significantly impact your listening and writing scores. I want you to be very careful about spelling mistakes, spelling errors. That's it. If you follow this and take full mock test and take the extensive mock test on listening. When you go on languageacademy.com.au, there's extensive mock test. When you take the extensive listening mock test, you will not just get the listening question types, you will get repeat sentence, retail lecture, answer short questions and all the questions from listening. And that will give you a better and clear idea of how much actually you're scoring in the listening module and what's the actual reason because a lot of times students don't really get the scores in listening and listening is not the reason speaking is the reason read a lecture repeat sentences are the reason so extensive mock test on languageacademy.com.au will give you a clear idea of what you have to do how you have to improve what mistakes you're making and what you should be careful about now what you can do is you can just go on languageacademy.com.au register you'll get one extensive mock test for each module free you'll get one free full school mock test which will give you a clear idea of what mistakes you're making and what are the things you need to be careful about so that you do not repeat the same mistakes and get your scores in the very first go also you can take one sectional mock test which is available for free as well you just need to go on languageacademy.com.au and register or you can download the LAPT exam practice app as well. That's it from this video. If the video was helpful, do like, share and subscribe. If you want me to cover any other topic, let me know in the comment section. If you need any help, we do provide online classes, on-campus classes. We've got a campuses in Australia and in India and Nepal as well. We run online classes for PT Academic, PT Code and all the other PT tests as well. Especially for students in Canada as well, we have got classes according to different time zones so you don't really need to worry about that if you need any help with training or anything just send us a message visit our website with the contact us form our team will be with you and we'll make sure you do not waste your time and money and get your desired scores like fifty thousand other students have got more than that have got till date with us that's it thank you very much for your time and support and that's it now go on languageacademy.com.au and start practicing